one of my favorite, favorite episode because this is my very first interactive YouTube video. And I'm very excited. My name is Amaka Orum. I love to inspire, motivate, and give tips on business and lifestyle. You get to know much about me as time goes on. Start off on this amazing journey. Today, I'm going to be explaining what it means to keep a sharp focus on your goals. When it comes to achieving goals, staying focused is everything. So to help illustrate this whole concept very quickly, we're going to start with a story. And you won't believe what I have here. I actually got us a bow and an arrow for this one. Yes, I did. The Fulanese used this to hunt animals. And I must say, it wasn't so easy to get but we had to make it happen, okay? Because I felt this would be the best example to explain focus and goals, okay? So let's dive into it. The story goes like this. In preparation for hunting season, a father teaching his two sons how to shoot a target with a bow and arrow, one day decides to test the skill of his sons. He placed a wooden bird as a target and asked them to aim for the bird's eye. But before carrying out the action, the father calls the first son and he asks him to describe what he saw. The first son says, I see the trees, I see branches, I see the sky, I see leaves, I see the bird, and I see the bird's eyes. The father calls the second son and asks him to describe what he saw. The second son says, I see only the bird's eye. Now, the father asked the two sons to release their bow, and the only arrow that made it to the bird's eye was the arrow of the second son. Now, why was that? Why was it the second son who accurately hit the target? I'll tell you why. Because he stayed focused on the only thing that mattered, which was the eye of the bird. Unlike the other son who focused on the trees, the branches, the sky, you know, the leaves, blah, blah, blah. I mean, those were all distractions to him, which stopped him from hitting his targets. In the same way, when we are setting our goals, we must channel our focus on the target and the target alone. The two sons had the same resources to, to, to hit the targets. They had the same tools, a strong bow, a sharp arrow, the energy required to pull, okay, further enough for you, for the arrow to reach the target, the same time, and even the same target. But what differentiated the two boys was that one kept his eyes on the only thing that mattered, which was the eye of the bird. So whether it's business, a school test, a relationship with your spouse or your kid, or something in your personal life that needs improvement, Stay focused on your goals, okay? Because even if you have the best resources, the best tools, you've attended the best seminars and training, it wouldn't matter, okay? Always keep your eyes on the goal and any other thing is just a distraction. And trust me, there will be many along the way. Distractions that will come and pose as being important, distractions that will shift your attention, distractions and challenges that will cause you to quit. Remind yourself of why you started and how far you have come. Refuse to fail and refuse to quit. So go out there, stay focused on your goals, stay consistent in your day-to-day -day routine. There is no reason why you won't achieve your goals or at least do a lot better than you would have having not focused properly on the goal. Hopefully this was helpful. I hope you got value. Below is the link to my free resources in the description box, okay? So um, it's an ebook. It's titled Take a Leap. It's filled with lots of germs, especially for those looking to start a successful additional income stream. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Smash the like button to encourage your sister. I like that very much. And if you're just looking to connect with me, the best place to find me would be on Instagram, okay? And so until next week, when I come to you with another exciting episode, keep your body and spirit strong, keep your mind focused, 
Feel free to share this with your friends and family or anyone you think might need to hear this. I remain a Maka Oguchi Oru. Have a good one and bye for now. Bye. <laughs>